Colder temperatures mean that things will start to freeze in our part of the world very soon. The centrifuge bowl is no exception. Whenever you initially start the centrifuge in colder weather, it's good practice to connect the steam hose to the feed tube and follow the centrifuge bowl, even when the bowl is not completely frozen. It's still a good idea to warm the centrifuge bowl. Do this for about 10 to 15 minutes. The cold steel of the bowl will cause the warm drilling fluid to freeze to the inside of the bowl, creating extra weight and torque inside the bowl, possibly overloading the gearbox. This causes the trip assembly to kick out. A word of caution, however. If you are unfamiliar with steam and how to handle it, please get an experienced worker to assist you. Always make sure that the centrifuge is off and properly locked out whenever performing any service. Ensure you have a good quality steam hose free of holes which is not frozen. Securely connect one end of the hose to a steam outlet and connect the other end of the steam hose to a one inch valve on the feed tube. You may need to apply steam to the one inch valve to ensure that it is free before connecting the hose. Once securely connected to the feeding on the feed tube, you may turn on the steam. Look for any leaks in the hose or feed tube assembly and repair as necessary. As soon as possible, close the two and a half inch valve on the feed tube to prevent steam or fluid from going down the feed hose to the feed pump. Once again, 10 to 15 minutes maximum is all that you is, need, is needed to steam the centrifuge bowl. You will usually see steam coming down the solid slide and out the end of the overflow pipe within 15 minutes. Steaming the bowl for a longer period of time will cause different components to expand and could potentially cause damage if the equipment is started. Once the bowl is sawed, turn the steam off and disconnect the steam hose. Be sure to close the 1 inch valve on the feed tube and to open the 2.5 inch valve on the feed tube. Securely connect the steam hose to the 1 inch valve on the feed pump. You may have to steam the valve to be able to open it. Make sure that the valve in the mud tank is closed before attempting to thaw the pump. Usually 1 to 2 minutes is enough time to thaw the pump. You will be able to rotate the pump by hand to check that it is free. Check to make sure that the hoses are not frozen and thaw if needed. At this point you may unlock the equipment and proceed to start the centrifuge using the proper operating instructions as outlined in the Caden Industries operating manual. If you found this to be a valuable video, please pass it along to your co-workers or colleagues that may benefit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and have a good day.